he's done his entire time is beat man-to-man -man coverage one-on-one -on -one and create separation. That's hard. Number 41. Myers one-on-one -on -one with Watson. He gets to the outside with the release. This is an incredible throw from O'Connell. Can't do it. Watch this. He's going to go in here. Oh, and you got to break the leverage. And he uses that little push at the top. As in my life, Odell Beckham running a slant route, catching it on the run. And if you're on defense, your heart's in. The Shanahan family just... They were born to call plays. A little semi-roll away from that. Charvarius Ward, look how far inside he is, looking right at DK Metcalf. That is pure man-to-man, -man, a little tough. For a while, got back in, and now this. Yeah, third down and long, you're going to put corners on islands. DJ Reed is very good, but you're talking. Pickett, recognize he has one-on-one -on -one outside, and how many times has he told us, Ian? I see one-on-one, -on -one. I want to get it to these receivers. On this thing. That just tells me they were going to go for it on fourth down. But as soon as he hit that left-hand turn on catch and run, another pick by Adams right there. Well, you can see Devontae trying to get separation there with Bumpe from Newsom. You're going to see him stem this route over the ball right there. Just gives him a quick fake and turns on the gas. But Sutton has five Pro Bowls the last six seasons. Look at that right there. The spin and turn. And then the close the gap right there. And only two catches that went for 20 plus. This goes for 12. Well, a lot of the ways is because teams know. A catch and run of 33 and a Raider first down. Well, Devontae Adams lined up one on one with Sneed. You see, he lines up on the right. They have double formation. And the thing that we heard from Sean McVay when talking about this Arizona Cardinals defense, he said they do great motion coming down, and then Cooks will go in and then go oop, right back out. Such a weapon. With his speed, because he's doing it to the player that he went went and got involved with and beat, and Joey Porter Jr. That ball, he's going to stay on top now. Once you get beat deep already early, you're not going to want to be biting up. Up on the outside here, watch the feet, pitter patter, good timing. What on the throw? Adams is a very good player, but George Kittle, when he's one on one and you get into this sort of Beckham is two. Watch this guy at the line of scrimmage come off the ball, and he just takes his release. It's his slants. He wants to show us he can run them too. It's the same kind of thing. A quick little jumper, little hand side. You fake it. You put a guy in the flat. That's Ricard. He's not open. You work your way back across the floor. Both when he was at Arizona, now that he's with the Minnesota Vikings, a really nice route by TJ Hawkinson. You see the separation that he's able to make. With plus 20 yards, but what do you do to create explosives? You go do something that the coach can't coach you to do. Look at him here break the record that he shared with two others coming into the day but look at this, this is the instincts right here you almost everybody else will be tackled i mean that's like a running back or a one against the length of sauce gardner at 6-3 and there's where speed beats that length balls thrown well and this is the lions offense this is how they want to operate early down play action pass you got to give mike mccarthy a ton of credit a great route move the pocket the motion is so huge Mike McCarthy doing an excellent job but it's not now but I mean watch that it's a double move and Gilmore doesn't get fooled outstanding job he's a veteran great coverage here by Valentine kind of went through his hands and then it's just the strength of Amon Ross St. Brown to develop down the field for Jeff Okuda I, I don't know if I want to play trail on Chris Olave all afternoon and undercut Play it safe because he's fast, gets off the ball quick, does a lot of comebacks and come back to the quarterback routes. It's his best throw. And he said the goal ball, of course. And you look at J.C. Jackson, looked like he thought he was going to have. Here's Cooper, and there's Sertan. One-on-one, -on -one and DTR threw this fadeaway. Say what a throw. Man-to-man -man coverage. He's lined up on McDuffie. McDuffie's right in the hip pocket, but he lays it over the out. Get that right over the top of Pete Werner, who's playing underneath. That does by pinning Jalen Hyatt to the sideline. Right, he opens up. Now, all of a sudden, without pass interference, pins him on the sideline. If you don't use one of the best wide receivers in football in one on one coverage, because he is having some night, it was a feeling within Seattle. Look at the hands. Just how he uses his hands and snatches that ball out of the air. This is what they imagined a big play, big physical receiver. Matched up against Jerry Jacobs, that subtle little right. This thing, he had to flip his head around and catch it with one hand. That. And they have Chase run the slant inside, and they bring Boyd to the outside. He sees the slant go, lets it go. Xavier McKinney and Adoree Jackson are going to make a play on the ball. And 
This is what you saw. You saw a guy who's just so quick and so explosive. All the way back here in the end zone and just watch him read Derek Carr's eyes. The play's developing in front. I mean, he is gone like a shot. You've got a lot of crossing routes in the middle of the field. And you wonder if, if Derek Carr just lost Jesse Bates in all that traffic. But you see right there in the middle, 13. Hyde's going to turn his head. And as soon as he does, when he turns his head right there, that ball's in the air and he gives it a safety help. He's going to take Brandon Powell and he starts there. But once he comes to the inside, it frees him up to then get underneath that route. That zone look defensively. So I, I'm just, I am a little surprised. I'm a lot surprised, quite honestly. That, that Flores has not come after him because they haven't handled that very well. And I understand. So you've got all that field then to throw. You can lay it out there. He throws the back shoulder. It's a perfect throw. Because the corner or Dotson could have either come off there. But motion, fast motion by Eckler. Try to uncover it. And there you see Everett just turning inside. But nobody came to block him. And he executed it anyway. But just in just enough time, it's a great matchup on Leonard with a lot of space outside. Lamar gets it out of his hands. And a bunch set. They ISO right here on the safety. And Hawkinson, number 87, you see where he has to work. It's two split safeties, and he's working one-on-one -on -one. with long arms. Not a lot of places to throw it. Love the poise at the end of the down. Bradbury comes off, and Josh doesn't see him and makes a great interception. Watch at the top. You'll see Bradbury. He has a choice to go deep, but he's going to fall off. And Josh doesn't see him because the pressure's coming on the left side. Block late in the run. Hobbs gets distracted by Watson's motion from the left, and he follows Watson too far into the inside. So when Rice works his drag route underneath Watson for after this replay, or Philly could go down and win the game. Oh, my gosh. That's what they're trying to do is cause some confusion. So they line up at the line of scrimmage. It looks like Reed is coming off one side and McDuffie is going to come off the other because of the way. Watch Ma Myers comes in in motion and he and Renfro are stacked together. So there's confusion there when all of a sudden Renfro peels off. It's an easy drag. Just unable to make a play on it. Byron Murphy is expecting the ball to come out at the stick. And although a rookie, he figured it out tonight. Watch Diggs. He's going to have... A ton of people around him, and that ball couldn't have been thrown in a better spot. Great job of play design by this Bills offense. Well, and he came into the game with five drops on the season, and he's, oh, a, yeah. he's a guy that Patrick... I want you to watch the right side, and you'll just see Gabe Davis. And they had that... Single coverage on the backside against Atwell, and he's off man coverage. And watch how he just breaks on the slant. He wastes no time, stays inside on the receiver. He is running a curl route. See, DTR gives a quick flash fake and then gets his ball off just in time. But the, the receivers are accepting the challenge of playing against his Patriots defense. What a tap. What a. Well, he's just going to run. You mentioned a strike. It's just a one-step slant, quick underneath throw, and it's a great answer for pressure off the edge. You heard Russell Wilson. Just watch him get all the way across the field on this one. Garrett Williams comes up from that nickel spot, and he just can't. You've got access to the outside. Cornerback off. That's Jackson Quick's uh, quick. Uh... It's by Mims. Are you kidding me? Especially, look at, boom, there's the tip, and the ricochet, and Mims is all over it. Well, we're just going to get a little flood route from these receivers to the deep corner. And the corner's got to sink there. And here's Higby lined up in the slot. Thompson not able to break over fast enough. And Gardak coverage on this. There is not one guy. I mean, where do you throw it if you're a quarterback? There it is, the double team on Thielen again, outside up top. Fourth down. Did he get in with the shin? Let's see his knee. Ooh, that's close. I think the... Uh... That's going to be tight. One thing you don't want to do is throw the ball back across the middle of the field as a quarterback, and you're going to see him 
take this shot in the middle of the field, and there's just all kinds of people. In the game with six pass breakups. You can see him with his eyes back there, but he keeps his hand on Dortch the entire time. Across the field on this one. But I really love what I saw from Kyler Murray on that one. They brought the blitz, stayed poised in the pocket, and this is something that Jonathan... ...down as well. You'll see him late, but Alshire right there. Right there, he's 35. Kayvon Wallace in there as well. He's going to run an over route. It's a little deeper than what the Patriots are used to. You notice how he stacks behind the linebackers. You had a nice clear... This one goes for 19. Yeah, and just finding that soft spot in the zone. You see the corner rolls up and just outside leverage, forcing him to the inside where you have help. You'll see the help coming over the top right there. Yeah, you're just running double slants right here, and you're trying to take away the inside coverage to open it up for your big-time target. It, it, it's, you know, everybody knows the importance of takeaways, and, and that doesn't end up being a fumble but an incomplete pass. But I just, you know, every week I'm... Good concept design, slot fade. You see how Calvin Austin stopped to take a defender out of the play and turn it into a one. Rhythm here, and this is Calvin Ridley starting to turn it on in the second half. I mean, he didn't really even do anything. He just uses his <laughs> speed, and there's nobody there. He outruns him. Very nice throw, good design. Necessarily a tight window, but the way that he threw it, it pushed it into a tight window. It slowed down Luke Farrell. See, Johnson's got it, and you've got it. That's a touchdown, but watch at the end of the play. CJ Stroud's getting a little bit frustrated with himself, but here, you see Robert Woods trying to front the space. And the Coming out of the slot, nice little design right there that gets D. Alford in a trail position. He gets his head around, but I don't think... To have a call right here with Jalen Jones. He thinks they're going to pass it off. Jones stays on it. Route to Drake London, number five, just going to press it up and then snap it off. <laughs> maybe a little, maybe a little. Sometimes the defensive back just wins, and he does on that one. For the eight, the touchdown, and then the two-point conversion. Well played, Andrew Catalan, well played. <laughs> well, really nicely covered. This is just an example of Minshew. He's just going to throw it up, believing that Pittman's going to be able to come down with that ball. He's to the game here for the offense for Indy. You know that this defense likes to bring pressure. The top bowls and his defensive staff. Boy, this is a great run and catch by Christian Kirk, but it comes to the point where, I mean, am I going to get in before? Fastballs all day. Everett Ingram does a little return here, inside and then out. But unlike the CJ that we talked about with his feet. Derek Carr has got to give him a chance. It's, it's got to be thrown back out into the field. He's got that pin too close to the sideline you make it too easy for the and you mentioned it joe right when when you're close teammates but then you're friends away from the building you're natural as offense he missed some time with some injuries here but easy just out route here trevor lawrence gets it coming right into the c gap or b gap this is just really well done really well timed out just a simple out route you've got the linebackers walked he's going to take a big hit from tyron matthew and holds on to the ball. You got to get something positive. We talked about how out of sync and just the. Trenton Thompson into the short zone. What we call. Has become a bigger piece as the season has gone on. Now you can expect this. I, I believe that in this game, Tampa Bay is, is going to be aggressive. Play. And the one thing that we are seeing so far out here, a very talented cornerback. Up there, their best in Charvarius Ward. Love how they move Hill around. He's a lot of times motioning out of there, but you got a safety on a running back. And that running back, in this case, in the opening quarter. Great ball. Right at the linebacker. I think it was Jordan Brooks here. You don't, he has the choice. Christian makes. But give Eccles credit. Doesn't sink inside. Has a job to see it, but it just kind of get out in the flat plan zone, reads the eyes, and then. Steps. I mean, he's just watching these other guys. Watch this. There's one. Loop around two, three. There's four. Oh. And there's a first down. Over here, watch the back side of this thing as he runs backwards, flips oh. around, sticks his hand out. The back of his hand? And it just happened oh. to hit his hand. That young man has played some remarkable football. I mean, it sounds crazy. <laughs> right. But this is what you have to do. You rely on the defense to do this. In the second half, you got to get turnovers or you got to get three and outs. You got to give your own offense a chance. This defense is doing everything. Yeah, this is what we talked about. This middle, they're playing too high safety zone. 
Just a little one-on-one -on -one ricochet route there off Quay Walker. Yeah, because he has been fantastic here tonight. Out and up, it just has not mattered. It didn't matter if it was deep. Maybe this is the number one threat. Christian McCaffrey coming out of the backfield. And one thing that San Francisco does so well is they get the ball to these great work on Bobby Wagner right here. Watch him just sort of drift off the line. Yeah. And give you a little double shake there. It's out his second time, he's out here by himself. Now he's got to respond to this. Now he's got momentum. And instead of continuing across the field, he catches that quick throw. And look at the convoy he's got in front of him. This was sort of bang, bang down here at the end. Then he fell a little grab of the arm there. Mm -hmm. They were listening to our open on camera. We, they said they got to throw it deep, early, and often. Christian Watson kind of had an... I think it was more a case... A Witherspoon just knew what was up. He did not, he did not take the cheese there. Linebacker came from safety. He's patient, and then when he bursts, he provides it. Yeah, we've talked a lot about Amon Ross St. Brown, Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, but it's, and I think, I think it's important to point out, as you see Dobbs run this big cross route on the big. And it's an exceptional route on the bottom by Dotson in, and then when the quarterback moves, you keep moving. That Debo is going to go. We used to see this play with the New Orleans Saints quite a bit. Come across the field and just another wide. The body of his receivers, KB. The second you extend your hands outside of your frame, he's there to make contested catches in the red zone. Just a little inside one step slant. The turkey leg after this. And what a great job by him. Looking, pump faking, and then firing that ball. Backside short eight to Sam Laporta. We just talked about him. His route running, his ability both man and zone. Reviewed, and the call on the field has been overturned. Both feet were down. But outstanding job by Cooks to keep the leverage inside. Good defense. Makes the play that would have been good for a first down. I thought he was a little behind him. It was the first. Bland, who's been playing... Outstanding football. It's a zone. They threw it to Sam Laporta, the tight end. Now they just do it out of a different combination. But Jamison Williams, he runs the big seven. Full of just running into coverage. You see Reed, he feels Jack Campbell, the linebacker, settle. Coordinator for Andy Reed at Kansas City. Now here. Yeah, I think he does a great job. Like To me, they, and I want you to watch Cooks right here. He's going to come in and go all the way back out. And just turnstiles the defense right there. This goes for 16, Tony. Lamb was able to. And a great catch and well-designed play by Mike McCarthy.